Why is there something instead of nothing? How did everything begin? What existed before the beginning? These age-old questions have fascinated generations, transcending time and cultures. We've made remarkable progress in understanding the universe, but there's still so much more to uncover. Our telescopes, like the James Webb and Hubble, have revealed stunning images of distant galaxies and celestial worlds, expanding our knowledge. We've witnessed the birth and death of stars, marveled at cosmic collisions, and explored the mysteries of black holes. However, countless unanswered questions remain. Why? When? How? Where? Let's try to find the answers in this video. Let's explore some fascinating theories about the origins of the universe. Have you ever wondered how everything might end? Renowned physicist Brian Cox proposed a thought-provoking idea. The universe will eventually become void of light, life, and meaning as the last star cools and fades away. But what about the beginning? One theory suggests that our Big Bang, the genesis of our universe, may have originated from a previous incarnation of emptiness, an eerie, cold, and dark universe similar to what awaits us in the distant future. After an unimaginable length of time, even the black holes will have evaporated and the universe will be nothing but a sea of photons gradually tending towards the same temperature as the expansion of the universe cools them towards absolute zero. Another captivating theory challenges our conventional notions of a linear timeline and a definitive origin. It proposes that the universe has always existed and will always exist in a state of perpetual existence. According to this view, the cosmos undergoes an unending series of expansions and contractions, seamlessly transitioning from one cycle to the next. In this eternal cosmic dance, the fabric of reality remains constant, unaffected by the passage of time. But hold on, we're not done yet. Theory 3 takes us even further into the realm of possibilities. It suggests the existence of infinite universes, each with its own set of physical laws, constants, and conditions. Imagine a staggering array of diverse realities encompassing every conceivable outcome and configuration. From universes with entirely different laws of physics to ones where life takes unimaginable forms, the possibilities are mind-boggling. And when I say unimaginable period of time, I really mean it. It's 10,000 trillion, 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 trillion years. How big is that number? Well, if I were to start counting with a single atom representing one year, then there wouldn't be enough atoms in the entire universe to get anywhere near that number. If that's not mind-expanding enough, let's delve into theory four which proposes that our perceived reality is actually a sophisticated program created by an advanced civilization or higher intelligence. In this mind-bending scenario, our entire existence, including the laws of physics, fundamental particles, the physical world, is akin to a hyper-advanced video game or simulated reality. As we explore the mysteries of the universe, we encounter even more mind-boggling phenomena particles popping in and out of existence, the enigmatic nature of dark matter, and the perplexing concept of dark energy pushing galaxies apart. All these puzzle pieces make the universe a truly strange and captivating place. And then there's the Big Bang, the prevailing theory that attempts to explain the origin and evolution of our universe. It suggests that our universe began from an incredibly hot and dense state approximately 13.8 billion years ago. From that singular point of infinite density and temperature, all matter, energy, space, and time originated, and the universe rapidly expanded to what we observe today. But here's the thing. The Big Bang Theory gives us a glimpse into the birth of our universe, but it leaves us with numerous unanswered questions. How could all matter, energy, space, and time be packed into a singularity? 
What was the nature of existence before the Big Bang? These questions challenge our understanding and take us into the depths of cosmic mysteries. Exploring the earliest stages of the universe brings us to the grand, unified epoch, where speculative physics comes into play. During this era, the physical world consisted of a swirling mixture of short-lived elementary particles. Matter and its antimatter counterpart existed in nearly equal amounts, constantly appearing and annihilating each other. This vibrant dance raises profound questions about the origin of these particles and the nature of existence itself. As we journey farther back in time, we encounter the ancient Planck Epoch, an era so early in the universe's history that our current theories break down. Here, our understanding of space and time undergoes a transformation, becoming emergent phenomena arising from underlying quantum processes. It challenges our intuitive notions and presents intriguing challenges to our understanding. Ultimately, the question of how something could arise from nothing remains elusive. While physics has found no confirmed instances of something arising from nothing, there are still many mysteries to unravel. Our quest for a comprehensive theory of everything continues, and until we make further progress, definitive answers may elude us. Now let's dive into another intriguing theory known as Conformal Cyclic Cosmology, or CCC, introduced by physicist Roger Penrose, a Nobel Prize recipient. This theory proposes a cyclical universe where endless cycles of expansion and cooling occur, each beginning with a Big Bang and ending in a Big Crunch. Penrose was inspired by a fascinating mathematical relationship between the hot, dense state of the universe during the Big Bang and the cold, expanded state it is predicted to reach in the distant future. In CCC, Penrose suggests that these states become mathematically identical when taken to their extreme limits. This paradoxical idea implies that the complete absence of matter could potentially give rise to all the matter in our observable universe today. It challenges our perception of how something can arise from what appears to be nothing. To understand this concept, we delve into the notion of conformal rescaling, a mathematical procedure that alters the size of objects while preserving their shape. Penrose demonstrates how the cold, dense state and the hot, dense state can be connected through this rescaling process, aligning their space-time shapes while disregarding their sizes. It may seem perplexing that two objects with different sizes can be considered identical, but Penrose suggests that size loses its conventional meaning in these extreme physical environments. The focus shifts to understanding the fundamental nature of space-time and the connections between them, transcending the constraints of size as we typically perceive it. The explanation in CCC unfolds uniquely from the old, cold state to the young, hot state. However, it's important to note that the relationship between these states goes beyond the usual cause and effect relationship. In these extreme states, not only does size lose significance, but so does time. The cold, dense state and the hot, dense state exist on different timelines with distinct temporal geometries. From the perspective of an observer within the cold, empty state, it would persist indefinitely in its own timeline. However, the emergence of the hot, dense state creates an entirely new timeline with its own properties and evolution. This non-causal relationship challenges our conventional understanding of cause and effect, blurring the boundaries between physics and philosophy. While physics provides insights into the mechanisms and mathematical relationships, deeper philosophical inquiries arise regarding the origin of physical reality itself. The fundamental question of why there is something rather than nothing emerges, delving into the nature of existence itself. When contemplating the origin of the cycles in CCC, there are three broad options. The cycles may have no physical explanation at all, or they could be endlessly repeating cycles, each universe explained by some feature of the universe before it. Another possibility is a single repeating cycle, where the beginning of that cycle is explained by some feature of its own end. 
These approaches avoid uncaused events and aim to provide a comprehensive explanation within the realm of physics. The probabilistic nature of the universe raises questions about the role of chance and randomness in its emergence. Could the initial conditions have been subject to probabilistic fluctuations? Did chance play a role in the fine-tuned values of fundamental constants and the conditions necessary for life? Exploring the interplay between determinism and probability helps us understand the intricate nature of reality and its origins. While determinism and probability often appear as separate strands, scientists seek a unified theory, known as the theory of everything, that can encompass both perspectives. The theory of everything aims to harmonize deterministic laws, such as general relativity, with the inherent randomness and uncertainty of quantum mechanics. Approaches like string theory and loop quantum gravity strive to merge these perspectives and uncover the underlying principles of the universe. Beyond scientific perspectives, the philosophical dimension contributes to the discussion. Philosophers have offered arguments based on metaphysics, principles of sufficient reason, and the principle of ex nihilo nihil fit. These arguments challenge the possibility of something emerging from absolute nothingness and urge us to consider deeper explanations or underlying causes. Considering the philosophical dimension broadens our perspective, prompting reflections on the nature of causality, existence, and the fabric of reality. It highlights the metaphysical implications of the universe coming from nothing and encourages critical analysis of assumptions. The philosophical realm reminds us of the existential significance and broader implications of our inquiries. As we venture deeper into understanding the origin of the universe, we recognize that our quest is far from complete. Uncovering more secrets reveals deeper mysteries, challenging our intuitions and inviting us to contemplate the fundamental nature of reality. The complexity and awe-inspiring nature of the universe remind us to remain open-minded and embrace the ongoing exploration. So, do you think the Big Bang emerging from nothing challenges our understanding of reality? Share your views in comments, like, subscribe, and watch more content like this here.